It's been about three years since I got a discount box of ripe bananas as good as these. You eat glutinous bread and I decide to eat ripe bananas. Who's right? Well, actually, it's me. Or unless you're going to eat loads of bread, then this video isn't for you. In case you do want to try to change your habit, then this video is going to show you how I get bananas almost for nothing. Well, for this box, it only cost me three quid. Three pounds sterling. Bananas all the way from St. Lucia. And I can't believe they almost got thrown away for being too ripe. These bananas are fair trade. And you might be surprised, but this has really helped the St. Lucian community out. With a link down below. Why should we care? With St. Lucia being a former British colony, actually the main export market is UK. Therefore, if you've eaten a banana in the UK, there's a good chance it's from St. Lucia. I suppose I'm telling you this because I've been to the Philippines and the bananas out there were like <coughs> disgusting. Link down below because actually there are so many banana varieties. If you're not going to subscribe, then that's just me talking um, to me. Yeah. This box cost me three quid. I rolled up to the corner shop by West Ealing to the fruit guy and he was like, mate, I've got a deal for you. I'm like, okay, I'm listening. And he really knows his target audience because this is exactly what I'm looking for. I freeze my bananas straight away. So if they're slightly ripe, which these are, they're perfect. But how much did we actually save? Okay. So let's check how much one box actually weighs. So first I'm going to weigh myself and then me with a box and then minus those results to find out. Because really the feeling of saving is amazing. Hashtag thrifter. Typically fair trade costs 72 pence per kilo. So 72 pence times 15 kilos equals drum roll please. £10.80 and I spent three quid so that's a saving of £7.80. Can I get an applause? <laughs> Thank you very much. At the moment it's high summer and I actually want to eat loads of fruit so I'm easily going through six, seven bananas a day. It's a staple and it's really good and healing for the intestines. This is a real staple for high fruit, vegan, alkalizing type diets. I wouldn't know what I'd be eating if it wasn't for this. I mean, I'm easily going through two to three in a smoothie. I'm going through one or two frozen bananas, just like ice cream. And then I'm going for another two for porridge in the morning. What's that? Seven. Easy. But also these bananas, when they're perfect and all spotty, the banana is almost fluffy. It's almost like cotton wool. All the starches have broken down and sugar just crystallizing is waiting for you to eat it. Super digestible. I live at home where there's bread all around me. But if you haven't got more than enough staples, you will crack. It's gonna be a good two weeks. So now I'm gonna freeze everything and off to the freezer. You know those market stalls you see in the corner of the streets with 
loads of fruit and one pound bowls outside. A lot of people give them stick for selling food that's basically off. And I agree in some aspects, the quality control isn't like a supermarket. There's no chillers, etc. But if you're actually eating a lot of fruit, you can't have underripe fruit. Otherwise, you're gonna get a lot of discomfort. I mean, you can eat one or two and get away with it. <laughs> Not seven bananas in a day. Let's put it that way. So don't be shy not shopping in the supermarket thinking you're all bitty and poor. Because actually, this is how you have to shop. Unless you're going to buy smoothies from the shop, which are pasteurized, of course. What is your best hustle? Let me know down below. Stay tuned for part two, where we open an organic fair trade banana box remember life can be amazing but only if we stay healthy